People in Milwaukee should not have too many issues if they're heading out the door, as Adriana just indicated right now. That is expected to change through the morning. So our Elaine Rojas Castillo is live in Milwaukee with a closer look at what the roads are like right now and what you can expect as the day continues. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. I mean, it, I wish I could say that things would improve, but right now it looks like we're just getting a taste of just how bad it's going to be a little bit later. Right now, I'm standing at the corner of Erie and Water, right in the heart of the third ward, and it's only been getting rougher since we've been out here about 30 to 40 minutes. The rain, as you can see, is literally starting to cut into the air and the ground all around us is icy and slippery. Now, if you look around me, you can see patches of pockets of the street that have that frozen ice already on them. You can see cars are trying to slow down. We haven't really seen a lot of speeding. People are kind of trying to, to make their way through. We've seen two salt trucks out here trying to sort of pave the area and make sure that there's salt on the ground. But the biggest thing that we're seeing is that sort of invisible ice or I, I don't know if it's black ice just because of how early it is but it's really easy to go faster than you think and kind of glide through that intersection. And again, while things are relatively calm here in Milwaukee, the forecast, just like Brian's been telling us, can change in an instant. And We Energies says that slick roads just like these can cause a lot of trouble, especially when cars lose their traction and hit a power line. Don't assume just because a power line comes down, the power has gone out. It may as part of the safety measures, but it may not. And if it's not, if that's an energized line, it's incredibly dangerous. So we're always letting people know if you see a, a power line down, stay at least 25 feet back. And if it happens to be in coming in contact with anything else, a fence, something else metal, stay away from that because it can energize anything it's touching. You know, just like Adriana mentioned, we are in the heart of downtown and while there aren't crashes right now, that doesn't mean that things are, aren't going to stay that way. So just make sure when you do head out, especially when you're hitting these streets where some of the lights are doing that, that interchanging light that they do in the middle of the night, give yourself that time, give yourself that distance so that we don't have any crashes that Adriana then has to report on. But for right now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News, Vincent Susan, back to you.